Hello, members of Phaser and YouTubers and game commentators and people that like games and like people talking and like people talking about games and life and other things for that matter. Things like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm back once again. More life talk. Because I'm sure you guys are enjoying it. I uh, getting getting some good feedback, some dislikes, but whatever. I can live with it. I don't really care. I'm gonna keep doing them. No matter. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I was on. I was uh, actually watching one of my favorite commentators' videos, and I was going through the top comments, and there was this really top com. The the main top comment was had a bunch of likes, and it was him talking shit to some guy, and I was like, how. How is this getting top comment? How is this guy talking shit to someone else and ruining their day? Really making, getting a lot of thumbs up. Well, I dug through it and I showed that comment. I made it show the response to that comment. And it went so, so far. I had to dig through 20 different comments to actually figure out this story. And what I got from it was a long long list of everybody talking shit to this one guy in general and yes anyway what happened was there was this kid who was having the worst day of his life I guess he was picked on a lot in school very young chap and basically he was not having fun he was having the worst day ever I guess he got hurt really bad by bullies, and he was honestly contemplating suicide, apparently. I really don't like that word. That word makes me sick to my stomach, but I'm going to say it. He really was, and the reason I know that is because he said it on his comment. And he actually said, thank you so much for making these videos. They make my day so much better, and this huge million, this guy has millions of subscribers, he actually responded to the comment of just the guy saying, I like your videos, and he's like, thank you, sir, stay in school, and all that other stuff. He actually said that, and mostly as a joke manner, but it made this kid's day in such a positive way that even after that day of bullying and all that other stuff, it he even, even after su possible thoughts of suicide, just that small comment from... That big YouTuber was enough to make everything feel better. And it started to get me thinking about how the stuff we do, stuff, maybe even leaving a comment or something I say in a video, how much it can really affect someone's life, I guess. I guess we're, since we're on the internet and we feel as if we're not actually there in person, that there's maybe this shield that keeps us kind of away from them and kind of in our own little world thinking we're completely protected from the things people say and the things they can do. But that's not always true. Um, I don't really want to be that guy that says that bullying's bad. No one really likes to hear that. I mean, most people should be smart enough to understand that it is. I don't need to be that guy who won't shut up about it. But I'm not mostly here to talk about bullying, even though that's bad. That's pretty straight to the point. It's just, uh, take your time, basically, is what I'm, to do something no matter how insignificant. You talking to that one weird guy, or that one girl that never talks to anyone, saying, Hey, my name is Trevor, and how was your day? And even after that, they just may say, Good! And then you walk away, and you think nothing of it. Maybe to them, you just made their day a whole lot better. You, you were their highlight. And I know, although that kind of sounds dumb, maybe, wow, just me saying hi was her highlight of the day, or his or her, or just saying, hey, man, you look good today, or something along those lines. It's just something even that small, it made me really think how much it can affect a person. And I want to be a better person because of it. I'm not always the nicest person. Doesn't mean I've hit in this 
form of enlightenment where I'm like, oh my god, I need to change every aspect of my life. But maybe I need to stop being a dick to strangers. Maybe I need to not look at that weird person and be like, ooh, I don't want to talk to him. He looks weird and not talkative. Maybe I should start saying, hey, man, how's your day? And I hope you guys will do that too. I, it's kind of lame to see people getting picked on and people too scared to make a difference because we need superheroes or we need heroes not really super ones but we need heroes and that term can be used in any form you normally think of a hero you think of a guy with superpowers or some guy saves the day but you can be the hero just by saying yo to that one guy and asking how their awesome day was probably yeah, I know I've repeated that a lot. I'm just really trying to jam this message deep down in your brain. To be nicer. To think twice about the shit you say. And I'll see you guys later.